glad everybody could make it. Um, it means the world to me. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and have Rosario speak. And uh, we're just going to have a few people say some things for Corey. And uh, I really do love that everybody's here. Thank you so much for everyone that came. Thank you. Corey called himself the great one. That's who he was. He lived up to it. You know, the biggest part. I remember when I was kids, we used to talk about, you know, having a family. We have kids and stuff, you know. We made a promise to each other, you know. You know, we would take care of each other's families if anything happened. I promise, I'm gonna do my part, though. how much Corey has loved. Rob called me and told me, did you hear what happened? And I was like, what happened? He told me that Corey's in the hospital. I go, what? And he told me there was something wrong with Corey that doesn't look good. And it shocked me. Corey's, because Corey's 39, he's too young. Way too young. You know, and even now, him being here, it just, it still hasn't clicked. But this is the reality of it. He is blood to me. We are not family, but he is my family. But when the security guy asked me, when I went there, because I just left work, I just literally just left work and came all the way up to Escondido, and the security guy asked me, are you family or are you friend? And I, I looked him in the eye and I told him, I'm family. And the guy looked at me like, dude, he ain't. I saw Corey, he can't be family. I was like, dude, that's my brother. I don't care what you said. I was going to start hell up in there, but part of my, my French, but that's how much I love him. I did everything I could for that guy. And everyone behind me shows how much of, of love he had. This was his family. And it's not even blood, but this is his family. We have the same birthday, so we'd always used to share it. And I told him, I told him too that now every time we have a birthday, I'm gonna have two cakes. I'm always gonna celebrate mostly him for his birthday, not mine, because I don't want to get old anyways. He's turning 40 next year, so I gotta celebrate it for him. Thank you guys so much, all the family and friends that came together, because he didn't plan this. This was like, I'm not saying that he planned death, but no one really plans their death. So he never had like life insurance or nothing. But look how many people came together to celebrate my brother's death right now. That's a, that, you know, you know what? That's, thank you. Death is never planned. And I know right now that my brother's here. He would also want to let you guys know three things. Please take care of yourself. We want you all to be here. I don't want to, I don't want to be next month seeing any of you guys like in, in this situation. Honestly, and I, I know that's what my brother's telling me right now. No one understands me and all that. You have no one to talk to. Look at this. Look what Corey brought together. Okay? We understand. If it's not me you can call, call someone. Someone will want to help you. So please, you're not alone. Okay? You're, you're really not alone. The last thing I know my brother would want to say is addiction. Find help. You shouldn't have to depend on anything. You are strong. You're built on this earth to be strong. You don't need to depend on something to make you stronger. With that, again, thank you guys for coming together, helping plan, be here with my brother. He'll be really big time missed, and thank you.